Hi, my name is Umar and today we have this 2005 Mercedes-Benz E240. has been provided to us with the courtesy of Fahad who is one of the subscribers and he's kind enough to lend his car for the review today. We have already done an ownership experience with Fahad of the same car. You can check it out if you are interested. So a huge thank you to Fahad for giving us this car today. Our Instagram is BAM Wheels. You can follow us on Instagram if you want to see what cars we'll be reviewing in future. This particular generation of Mercedes was first introduced in the late 2002 and it stayed in production till 2009. Now this one is a 2005 E240, uh, the one that we have for review and uh, this car is unique in the sense that one, the engine E240 is not very common in Pakistan. The most of the like the 90% of these cars that we have are E200. So this is a 6 cylinder uh, 2600cc engine and the other thing is the car option wise has a lot of options and the condition is also very immaculately maintained condition. So as usual let's see all the interesting features in this car and then we will take it for a road drive to see how it drives so first of all let's talk about this hood ornament this mercedes hood ornament is a flexible one it's not like a rigid hood ornament uh, the reason of this is that this is a law that all the automobile manufacturers have to have these hood ornaments as flexible so if for instance someone falls like if the car hits a pedestrian or something the Hood ornament should not be the cause of their injuries. Another interesting thing in Mercedes is these parking lights. So if you can see only this parking light is turned on, not the other one. This is a very interesting feature and uh, this is so that wherever you are parking the car the side that is on the side of the road you can choose to turn out the parking light on that side only for both front and rear so right now I have the left one on let me show you uh, by turning on the right side parking light now if you can see I have turned this one on and that one is turned on now I am like so if I am parking a car on a side that this is on the road side I can turn this one on so the people crossing passing by know that this side like the car starts from here and if I am parking the car on the left side of the road I can show that light. Now you have this parking pole as well this is not a flag pole this is a parking pole. The purpose of this parking pole is that when you are sitting on the driving seat you know where the car ends over here. This car comes with uh, M112 engine type. This is an engine series of Mercedes and the particular engine in this car is E36 model. Now this E36 is a 2600 cc six cylinder engine. The engine produces 170 horsepower with 240 Newton meter of torque and the car comes with a 5 speed automatic transmission. Now when you come to the side of the car you have 16 inch alloy rims. On the side it's very decent black with a little bit of chrome uh, work to give it just the nicer feel. When you lock the car, your door mirrors fold. This is something that we got in those Corollas and all that like really late. This car has it in like, let's just let that sink in, I won't say much. Now when you enter into the car you have a lot of buttons on the door itself. Now these are the buttons for your mirror controls. This is to retract, this is to select which mirror you will be using and this is to adjust the mirror. Now this is seat memory package. You can select 
like you can save a memory option in the three options or you can manually adjust the seat including this headrest so let me just show you the headrest so even the headrest is powered operated now when you come over here your this is your trunk opening button your power windows these are your uh, light controllers so like i was telling you if you want to turn on the right side parking light you do it this and this is for the left side parking light auto and various options now when you start the car the clock does this reverse cycle and then a forward cycle so whenever you enter the car this is what the car does just to make sure the clock is working perfectly on your steering you have multi-function buttons this is your audio control and this is to control uh, this screen in the middle over here you have this button which is your parking pole button and this is your handbrake release the handbrake is over here this is your foot brake and this is to release that foot brake even your steering adjustment like the tilt and the telescopic adjustment of the steering this is all powered if you see so your steering controls are also powered which is something very nice over here you have your indicator and wiper stock in the center when you come you have your automatic climate controls your navigation audio system and your phone controls your hazard button you have the lock and unlock for the doors over here your uh, traction control this button is for these rear headrests to fall and retract so when you press this button your cd changer comes out very nicely and then you press it back it goes back your lighter and everything over here wooden finished automatic transmission a small cigarette lighter uh, the ashtray or whatever you call it like that now for your armrest so this is your flaps opening or you can raise this whole thing like this Over here you have two glove compartments, one pops up like this, it's like a drawers kind of a thing and the other one is like this and you can see how nicely you have compartments in the gloves compartment as well. Even your passenger seat is memory powered seat. So your temperature, it's a hot day, service in 13,051 kilometers, that's when the service is due. Engine oil level, not when engine is on, current speed, so you have different options over here. Okay, so you press it like this and it's open in a pop-up position and you do this and it opens you have both the lights over here i think the lights are not working or something like that otherwise these are all the different light options and buttons for those one minute mirror with the automated light and so is this one Coming to this navigation screen, this looks extremely dated, even though it is 14 year old, but the way things have changed now, this is your volume controller and all of that, but this does feel a little dated now. It's not a touch screen, it's like this, so you have these buttons and basically a pretty basic kind of screen. This is your phone keypad, so if you want to connect your phone with the bluetooth you can do that 
this is to turn off the screen turn it back on disk um, uh, cd which is this uh, cd changer md it has the md option as well because in that at that time you used to get the mds now the seats are leather seats you have this little place over here where your first aid kit is stored nicely so in order to access your first aid kit this is where it is now when you come to the back of the car first of all you have this cigarette lighter in the rear doors you have a back door airbag door pocket in the back as well door pocket behind the seats rear ac vents you have this power outlet in the power socket over here in your armrest if you look you have this whole organizer kind of a thing like you can put stuff whatever and then if you want to take out this is your cup holder in the back door so you can do this and have this like this as well now i'm sitting at the back of the car this seat is reclined all the way at the back and when it's reclined all the way at the back the front space is good for someone 6263 something like that so that's the kind of space there is in the front seat but at the rear seat when someone has reclined the seat all the way at the back the rear seat you don't get a lot of leg space that is something there but apart from that the comfort wise roof there is a lot of space the headroom is very comfortable and if there is a normal person sitting at the front like a normal pakistani you don't get any problem of the leg space over here as well and i have these air vents at the back so the comfort is also there very nicely three people can very comfortably sit in at the back seat if you try you can even fit in four when you come at the back of the car the back is also a very good looking back just like the front of the car you have the third uh, high mount stop lamp integrated in the trunk you have two exhaust which is a standard for these e246 uh, v6 engines now in order to open the trunk you have this lid that you can press to open the trunk and over here you have the mercedes triangle now what is a mercedes triangle let me just show you now if for instance your car gets breaks down on the road you can always take this out assemble it and put it on the road side in the night so any oncoming traffic can see this reflector from a very far distance this is a standard in mercedes i mean i remember mercedes of the early 80s and 70s also used to have these now to access the spare tire you press this and you lift this plastic lid and over here you have another plastic because uh, another carpeted uh, place because it's a mercedes and when you lift this whole thing you you get your spare tire over here the car is missing the spare tire right now but even the spare tire place is carpeted so you know you are in a mercedes when even your spare tire gets to have a carpeted flooring so you get a total of three trunk lights one two and three so these are all the features of this e240 now let's take this car for a road drive all right so now we are driving this mercedes benz um i won't talk about the running price the average and all of that since we have already done the ownership experience of this car so that is already there you can check out the price the fuel average the parts and all of that you can already check like that so i'll just uh, talk about my driving experience of this particular car today now uh, the visibility is uh, very decent now one thing that i've noticed while i was reversing the car this rear view mirror tilts when you try to uh, reverse the car which is just like you have something that Corolla started offering in 2017 in the local Corolla so you get that acceleration wise the car has very very smooth acceleration now this is a six cylinder car but don't think it will be an extremely fast car this is a smooth car because of the weight of the body this is not a fast car this is a smooth car so 
it takes time to go from 0 to 100 but when it reaches that 100 the ride quality is very smooth it feels as if, as if you are in another car and going at a 60 the same feeling would, would be something that you would get at 100 in this car brake again braking is very sharp on the car i mean the car is only 30000 kilometers driven so the there is not much that has happened to this car in terms of wear and tear the 14 year old car only 13000 kilometer driven the car drives just like a new car and it's a sheer pleasure when you're driving this best thing about these cars is that if you find a good decently maintained car this is something that you would enjoy till the end of the world you get a lemon then you would always be fi fixing the car you would never get to enjoy the car but if you get a car like this in a car which is in a pristine condition you would always enjoy the car now the handling the maneuverability you can tell i mean the car has uh, two different modes there is a sports mode and there is a comfort mode so you can select the modes from this button I won't go in the sports mode, I have not uh, taken the permission from the owner but uh, there is sports mode and I am like really tempted to try it out but I won't, I won't do that because someone has trusted me with their car so I shouldn't be abusing that trust. Um, So right now I had a Civic right next to me and when he came on the speed breaker next to me his car did bump and mine was a little smoother compared to that one. This is sheer pleasure that's all I would say about this car. I'm not in the mood to take it back but I'll have to go back because the owner is waiting. The turning cycle is also very smooth. I mean, the car is low center of gravity. So, this was all about our review of the Mercedes E240. Please let us know in the comment section what you think about this review. Till next time, bye.